Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am a huge fan of SQLite. Not only it is portable but packs lot of punches in its small size. You can even use it for production development if your requirement is low. But for day to day test use cases it is second to none. That is why I am so excited to introduce you this SQLite VEC which is a powerful vector search SQLite extension that runs everywhere. SQLite VEC is a small portable vector database powered by SQLite, perfect for on-device retrieval augmented generation applications. If you don't know what RAG is or retrieval augmented generation is, it simply means to provide your large language models or your AI powered applications more context grounded in your own data. So you just take your own data, you convert it into numerical representation with an embedding model. These numerical representations are called as embeddings or vectors. We then store them in a vector store, such as now we have this SQLite VEC option. And from there we can do similarity search and as soon as we find a similar item as per our query, we augment that to our query and give it to LLM. And that's how LLM gets more grounded context around our prompt. So this is why I'm so excited that now, apart from various other options where we have a lot of um, RAG vector stores like Chroma, we have Viviet and we have Pinecone, we have Postgres and a lot of others. Now you have even available that thing in SQLite VEC. SQLite VEC is a vector search SQLite extension written entirely in C with no dependencies. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will see within real world example as how exactly it works. I will be putting all the code which I am going to use for this video so you can also search it out. And I will also give you the link to this GitHub repo. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a, an affordable GPU, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going, going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount. Coming back to SQLite VEC, it's extremely portable. It works in most operating systems and environment and is MIT Apache 2 dual licensed. SQLite VEC works similarly to SQLite's full text search support enabling you to declare a virtual table with vector columns. You can insert data with normal insert into statements and you can even query it with normal select statements. Another cool thing is that this SQLite VEC supports Matryoshka embedding slicing, which is a technique for reducing the dimensionality of your high dimensional vectors. It also supports binary quantization that reduces storage by 32 times with minimal accuracy loss. It also supports L2, cosine and Hamming distance calculation and these measure the similarity between vectors. It also supports retrieval against Python list and numpy arrays and that allows for easy integration with popular Python libraries. You can use it with Python, JavaScript, Go, Rust, WASM and much more which makes it really easy to use SQLite VEC in your favorite programming language. It also has local direct embedding with SQLite Lambert for GGUF models and you can even use it with Llama.cpp and really that enables you to have efficient embedding for vectors. You can even go with remote embeddings such as using OpenAI compatible APIs also, it uses virtual tables in SQLite and I will shortly show you what exactly that means. And by the way, in SQLite, a virtual table is a table-like object that doesn't store data itself, but provides a way to access and manipulate data from other sources. Virtual tables are created using the create virtual table statement and I will show you that shortly. Now, in order to get this thing installed, of course, you need to have SQLite already available. If you have latest version of Python install like Python 3 or above, you should already have SQLite installed on your system because it's a standard Python library. Now in order to install this SQLite VEC, all you need to do is to run this command pip install SQLite VEC and that is going to install it on your local system. I already have that installed. So now let me take you to my VS code where I will show you how you can use it. 
so first up what i am doing here is i am importing sqlite sqlite vec extension numpy and struct if you don't have numpy already installed just do pip install numpy and it is going to install it second up i'm just creating a sqlite database in memory i am loading all the extensions which include sqlite extension and then again i'm i have loaded it and then i'm creating this virtual table which i was just referring to what virtual table is it is simply a table like object that doesn't store data itself but it is providing a way to access and manipulate data from other sources and you can see that we are just loading embedding here then i'm just simply creating a table which is called as book titles i will be storing these random book titles in it once i have stored the titles i have just created some random numerical representation of all of these books so for example to kill a mockingbird this can be represented represented in this vector 1984 in this and of course in real world what you will do you will use an embedding model like a nomix embed or mix spread and there are heaps of them to convert your own text into these numerical representation and it could be the part of your rag pipeline so once that's done i'm simply inserting these books and their numerical representations into their respective tables and once that's done all we are doing we are using um, we are serializing it to store it in binary linearly and then we are executing this query which is a very similar query to find a match as you can see and i'm just selecting the top three random values and then i'm printing the res uh, response here so for example if i say similar books to 1984 and then i'm calculating the distance if the distance is zero or near to zero it means it is a match zero means exact match and if it is not it will give us some higher values so now let me run it as you see i'm just saying that similar books to 1984 so if i go above and check out in my example you will see that i have exact match here but um the rest of them don't match and in this query i'm just taking top three values so let let's run it and see how it works so this is my terminal i'm just going to run it like this there you go you see so this is the title distance is zero it means exact match and the rest of two which it randomly selected have quite a higher value so they are not exact matches so this is how this sqlite vec um, does its magic also as, as i was as i was mentioning earlier you can do a lot of other stuff too for example it also supports matryoshka embedding slicing which is a technique for reducing the dimensionality of high dimensional vectors and that works by slicing the vector into smaller sub vectors and then recombining them to form a low dimensional vectors it is quite performant too for example um, with it can just have query times of 1 million 128 dimensional vectors in just 17 milliseconds that's it so that's it for today's introductory um, video to sqlite vec with a hands-on demo as you can see that it is quite powerful vector search sqlite extension that runs everywhere making it perfect for on-device rag application with its support for matryoshka binary quantization and various distance calculations it is a great choice for anyone working with high dimensional vectors and i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching